welcome you in another video in this we will talk about heme okay heme synthesis and everything that you need to know regarding heme synthesis in the easiest manner possible is discussed here i hope by this you will never forget heme synthesis and then we will cover up all, all the you know porphyrias and all the disorders concerned with this particular metabolism so chaliye shuru karte hain if you have not subscribed yet do not forget to subscribe hit the like button share to your friends and you can connect with me on all of these platforms so let's begin with heme synthesis not a meme just heme okay so what is heme so basically if we talk about some basic facts which you should know be knowing from your basic sciences so heme is present in right from your hemoglobin myoglobin cytochromes peroxidase catalase nitric oxide synthase all these have their structural component as heme okay so you already pretty much know the importance of heme i should say now we have to dissect that heme bana kaise hai how is heme formed okay so basically heme is a derivative of porphyrin now i will break off these things for you okay so now suppose right now you are entirely blank you have not ever read this topic even a single time so what is porphyrin i don't know okay chhod do heme is a derivative of porphyrin we don't know porphyrin what is porphyrin porphyrin is made up of four pyrrole rings now what is this pyrrole rings now this pyrrole rings has substitution sites what are all these things going now let's dissect them so basically i am telling you this simple story okay this is your simplest story that this is your pyrrole ring okay you have to remember nothing just remember this pyrrole ring okay now this is your pyrrole ring now you have you know interlinked four pyrrole rings 1 2 3 4 now these four pyrrole rings are being interlinked and the bond between them is this is double bond and this is single bond so these are the bonds which are linking four of your pyrrole ring and these four pyrrole rings will form a ring which is porphyrin ring okay pyrrole forms porphyrin please know these basic terms then only you will not get confused okay so pyrrole will form porphyrin now what happens you will see that initially these places were vacant but now they are being occupied so the only vacant sites are this and this okay so now i have labeled all these vacant sites okay these are something eight vacant sites now what you substitute on these vacant sites will decide what is the compound so now pyrrol pyrrol se bana porphyrin okay so now suppose if i have substituted ap 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 on first to eighth position this is not op this is ap hai na so if you start you know substituting a p a p a p what is a meaning a means acetyl p means propionyl so these are just groups okay so you have substituted them and then you get this porphyrin this is your porphyrin so the porphyrin product formed is suppose europorphyrin 1 type 3 1 type 3 copro these are like substitutes okay so these are some substitutes whatever you will substitute you will get this particular porphyrin okay now this is the compound so now you have this porphyrin you have substituted things here okay right now just understand don't focus on learning things just understand you have substituted products here okay this has formed your porphyrin i would say suppose proto porphyrin okay now this proto porphyrin when it will combine with iron then it will form what is called your heme okay see you can see the substitutions 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 these are all substitutions now i will tell you this in theory okay so now you will understand the things instead of memorizing or confusing it so now what is said that start from very basic thing so heme is a derivative of porphyrin porphyrin is made up of four pyrrole rings which are linked with double bond ch bridge okay these are four pyrrole rings forming porphyrin now they totally have eight substitution sites eight substitution sites have different order of substitutes ap op jo bhi karna hai okay so different order of substitutes gives different names different types of porphyrin okay and in this the most common ya jo heme ke liye hame most important hai in our body is type 3 and that is your proto porphyrin type 3 okay so that's why i have told you in this table that you have to remember proto porphyrin type 3 you need not to know this substitution mv mv mp pm no 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 not needed but what you should be knowing is that how you have formed your proto porphyrin 3 porphyrin pyrrole and then your substitutes and now this is formed okay so this is your proto porphyrin and now what you were doing is you were substituting f uh, you were adding f to it uh, fe iron to it and when you add iron to it 
then it is called as ferroprotoporphyrin which is nothing but your heme okay so now this is quite complex thing no not at all complex just analyze once more porphyrin pyrrol char okay eight substitution sites different types of porphyrin most common type 3 protoporphyrin combine it with iron you will get heme now what is the sense of all these things you uh, jab bhi aap heme synthesis padhte honge you must be see that there is direct pathway written everywhere or taught everywhere but what i want you to notice here is you have learned entire cycle with me i promise how just relax okay now you what you need to do is come to heme synthesis pathway and this is the last step that i am showing to you so ab aapko reverse chalna now you have to work reverse with me okay so heme heme is formed by protoporphyrin plus iron okay this was clear we have already discussed protoporphyrin combined with iron gives you heme okay so now you have got protoporphyrin and i heme and iron will add and form heme okay now protoporphyrin aaya kahan se from where will protoporphyrin come it will come from protoporphyrin ogen gen means something which generates a particular thing okay so just put a name of gen so protoporphyrin before that will be protoporphyrino gen okay so this is how you will remember till now okay so now you have remembered steps till here now we will see them in detail now rest of these things what are these things left then i will tell you the mnemonic of this particular thing okay so now let's focus on that thing so basically this is your first thing that is your proper synthesis of heme okay thermo blast i have made a mnemonic for you and that mnemonic goes like this and iske baad ka we have learned okay so now focus with me that first of all great sign g s glycine succinyl coenzyme a a is for your ala then you have p for porphobilinogen u for uroporphyrinogen and then c for coproporphyrinogen then i have already told you protoporphyrinogen will give protoporphyrin and this will get heme okay so now i will start explaining the steps and its mnemonic goes like it's a great sign as porphyria is finally uncoded okay so until now you didn't understood anything about porphyria but now it's a great sign of relief for you as porphyria uncoded okay so now focus on this okay so now basically our aim is to form heme okay so first of all the first step will be formation of ala what is ala amino levulinic acid which can also be referred as delta amino levulinic acid okay one and the same thing so succinyl coenzyme a will combined with glycine in the presence of enzyme jo ban raha hai it synthesizes okay so ala synthesizes enzymes will combine and they will form delta amino levulinic acid okay and the coenzyme required here is plp pyridoxal phosphate okay and uh, you can see that coenzyme a is written here but it is not written here hence coenzyme a will go out as it is and there is loss of co2 so now you have finally formed ala now from now onwards you have to do nothing you have to just condense whatever you get you have got ala condense them okay so now you have condensed two ala and you have formed something which is called as porphobilinogen okay this is not your uh, protoporphyrinogen this is porphobilinogen okay so now porphobilinogen you got porphobilinogen now this is again a condensation condensation if it is condensation there should be loss of something and there here is loss of two water molecules so just remove two water molecules use the enzyme since you have removed the water molecules the enzyme will be ala dehydratase okay and this enzyme is inhibited by lead okay so just a catchy point if you need to write in your exams so right now you have formed porphobilinogen okay now i have told you you have to just condense whatever you get so condense this four porphobilinogen okay again condensation this time there is no water loss there is ammonia loss so enzyme will be deaminase porphobilinogen deaminase okay so now you have removed ammonia and what is the product form you can see great sign you have read here porphobilinogen now you will form uroporphyrinogen okay so initially the product form is uro uroporphyrinogen 1 but i have already told you most common in our body is type 3 so you will convert it into uroporphyrinogen type 3 and the enzyme will be upg3 synthase you can boycott this step and just write uroporphyrinogen 3 that will also work okay now what you have to do is now you won't condense further now you will just what you will do is you will just start two reactions decarboxylation and oxidation 
ओके सो आफ्टर यूरो पारफाइरिनोजन यू नो दैट नाउ यू आर रीचिंग योर टर्मिनल स्टेप ओके सो सी सी फॉर डी कार्बोक्सीलेशन सी ओ टू हटा देना ओके सो यू विल डू यूरो पारफाइरिनोजन यू विल सिंपली रिमूव सी ओ टू यू विल गेट द एंजाइम एज यू पी जी डी कार्बोक्सीलेस एंड द प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म विल बी कॉपरो पॉरफाइरिनोजन सो एवरी थिंग रिलेटेड टू सी टाइप थ्री विल गो हैंड इन हैंड ओके नाउ यू हैव टू डू नथिंग यू हैव टू जस्ट ऑक्सीडाइज एवरीवेयर ओके सो नाउ यू विल ऑक्सीडाइज दिस सी पी जी इन टू प्रोटो पॉरफाइरिनोजन सिंस दिस इज ऑक्सीडेशन रिएक्शन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ दिस इज रिड्यूस्ड ओके एंड नाउ वॉट एवर प्रोडक्ट इज फॉर्मिंग यू हैव टू राइट द स्टेप नेम स्टेप नेम एज दैट पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट ओके सो दिस इज नथिंग कॉम्प्लेक्स जस्ट बी वन मिनट मोर एंड वी आर डन विद दिस सो नाउ यू हैव गॉट योर प्रोटो पॉरफाइरिनोजन ओके टाइप थ्री now this proto perfirinogen type 3 will again get oxidized i have already told you remove four hydrogen again a sign of oxidation form proto perfirin okay because you need to combine it to get fe we uh, need to combine it with fe to get heme so you have finally got heme as a product and now you have got everything you can do in your metabolic reactions so now whenever these things will get accumulated we will see porphyria's disorder so things are very easy just say with me Great sign as porphyria uncoated, glycine succinyl, ALA, porphobilinogen, euro porphyrinogen, and copper porphyrinogen. After that, you very well know that proto porphyrin banana hai. So how proto porphyrin will be formed? Proto porphyrinogen, and how this will lead to heme formation. Okay, just start with me. Normal ALA synthase, PLP requires. ठीक है? Then condense, remove water. Condense, remove NH3. Then decarboxylase because you remembered C for C decarboxylase then oxidase then oxidase and you are done with entire heme synthesis in less than 15 minutes I guess I don't know time what it may take but now you have understand the entire process okay so kindly watch this video at least two times if you are having no idea and just learn things with me it itself start with a basic por pyrrole ring four pyrrole ring porphyrin porphyrin will again you know get substituted will form proto porphyrin. Proto porphyrin will combine with iron to form heme. Proto porphyrin कहाँ से बनेगा? Proto porphyrin gen से. Proto porphyrin gen के पहले की कहानी great sign as porphyria uncoded. So finally I have uncoded porphyria for you. I hope you like the efforts. Do not forget to support me and then you can continue your learning. So this is the question which you need to answer in the comments box. Which is the rate limiting enzyme? I have not explained this thing but I have written here. This is RLE. Okay, I have shown the answer, but you need to focus and you must know what is rate limiting enzyme. Basically, the show stopper of a particular fashion show. Okay, so if you wish to contribute, you can co contribute at this particular number, and this will help me making more videos. Okay, so thank you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, keep learning, and also connect me on all of these platforms if you have any of your doubts. Thank you so much. Stay safe, stay healthy.